<laughs> All right, man. So here we got the phenomenal Detroit Destroyer, How We Bell, one of the coldest wow. cats to come out the Midwest doing this. What's happening, brother? Hey, man, you know, just online argue with niggas about Michael Jordan and the bad boys. You know, <laughs> I saw that, man. That's a regular I saw day. That. <laughs> you know, I'm in Chicago, too. I was like, this nigga right here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look, niggas ain't going to let this go, man. 30 years later, niggas still mad about the Clippers <laughs> walking up the court, man. Yeah, like, I know. Man. Yeah, I know. They love that little uh, Horace Grant quote. You know what I'm saying, niggas? Right, right. Yeah, Horace Grant. <laughs> I know. Nigga Rodman took your job. Go sit down somewhere. (laughs) He sure did. (laughs) And three of his rings. And three of his rings. Go sit down. I heard that, man. Isaiah was actually my favorite player. I was a point guard. I wore number 11. That's right. When somebody else got that, I wore 10. Just because I uh, Isaiah was was the man, and I grew and up. And he was a he's a Chicago, Chicago native, man. A lot of yeah. people don't, you know. I know we talking about comedy, but a lot of people don't realize, man. Uh, it was bad blood between the two teams because oh, you know sure. Isaiah Thomas was a Chicago native. He was the man. Jordan came from North Carolina to Chicago and became the man. Yeah, and, and he had to go through Detroit in order to achieve the levels of successes he, he achieved, and it was just bad blood, man. Oh, and yeah, it was just yeah. one, of, and that was the '80s basketball. You know, it was just how it was back then. You know, yeah, man. I hey. try to tell people a lot of times, man. They like, ah, oh, they walked off the court, and it was, you know, poor sportsmanship, and it was wasn't classy. I was like, man, back then, wasn't none of the niggas classy. Yeah, it wasn't you know? necessary. <laughs> it wasn't necessary. It's about getting the job done. Getting the job done, man. That they had took an edge. You know what I mean? I get it. Yeah. Players wasn't friendly back then, man. They friendly now. Exactly. It's fake. They trading now. jerseys and signing each other's jerseys now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Trading to be playing with each other. Right. You know what I'm <laughs> right. That right. It right. would have never happened in oh, the Oh, man. Back then, though. Yeah. Man, I, in fact, I would love to see a, a, a cartoon of Michael Jordan trying to ask one of them motherfuckers to come play with him. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Because it ain't going to happen in real life. They, now, what happened, they though, is they, the, the, the Chicago Bulls, though, after they dethroned the Pistons, they picked up Dennis Edwards from our team, John yeah. Sally, and Dennis Rodman. And, and and that's one thing that they don't talk about either. That's kind of – But that was a trade. That wasn't a, a – That was hey, a guys, trade. That was a trade. play with me down in yeah, Miami. So we can yeah. chase women and whatever they doing, you know what I'm saying? Whatever right. they did, that it was right. different, bro. That was a trade right. that ended up totally working different. in the favor I, I of the agree. Bulls, you know. So that's what's up, man. So anyway, man, of course it's always great. I'm wearing right. a shirt, you know what I'm saying? I had to put that one on. <laughs> there you go. I was fucking with you today, man. That was one of my favorite uh, shows, even though it wasn't that good. Uh, to me, it was it was it was kind of weird because dude had me doing way too much for me not to be making the money that I should have been making. So yeah, was it was like, a, it was a weird energy to that show, man. Even yeah, though we had a good time way. though. We had a good Hell time. Yeah. Yeah, it was you know great. It was good, man. Shit, sure. yeah, check yeah. in a hotel ain't like, never bad. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man, nah, man, never, man. So it's you what's know, up, we, man. Yeah, so, it's, it's hey, it bro, is, man. Uh, of course, it's uh, it's the, it, you know, it is what it is. We're dealing with this COVID. I see your background, man. Let's get into this real quick. <laughs> man, yeah. I t- every cat that I interview, man, that's a heavy hitter like yourself, man, they tell me prior to the COVID, you know, what they were doing, man. So what were your, you know, what did you have going on prior to this, before we even jumped into this, you know? You know, man, I was uh, doing what most comics do. Um, I was on the road, um, yeah. traveling, you know, right. and, and, and working, working the, you know, working the system, man, uh, the comedy system, you know, that's what I was doing, man. Right. You know now, what I'm I saying? Had, I had observed that you had, you had a consistent radio show or uh, you know, it was a podcast going. I know you were in L.A. doing some things, man. So tell some of the people, you know, uh, how you're adjusting to to this COVID through those things, you know. Yeah, I did a show uh, with the good brother Kevin Tate, man. Shouts out to my man Kevin Tate. It was a Kevin Tate show with Howie Bell, and we ran that. Uh, I did it with him. He was doing it before me, and he's still doing a show now. But I ran it with him for a year, and, uh, man, it was beautiful, man. And, mm-hmm. you know, just the consistency of being, you know, on the L.A. scene is always good. Um, you know, taking the uh, the consistency of hitting the stages out there, man, to my advantage. You know, I was doing a lot of improv shows, yeah. a lot of uh, Laugh Factory. I've been posting some Laugh Factory stuff on my um, Instagram. You go to Howie Bizzell uh, at right. H-O-W-I-E-B-I-Z-Z-E-L-L. You can kind of see some of those things. I mean, you know, I took that 
and along with all my experiences, man, you know, I've been in the game since 95. Yeah. So, you know, um, and this is just recent times, you know, so, but I was doing all that. And now, you know, the adjustments have been a little difficult because I'm used to always being on the go. Yeah. You know, I'm always used to moving, um, you know, always doing a show. So my sleep habits are terrible right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> you might I'm be waiting. getting some sleep right now. <laughs> I'm getting some sleep, but then I yeah. started uh, going through a phase where I was waking up, I'm telling you, every night at about 4 in the morning and not being able to go back to sleep yeah. until about 2 or 3 in the afternoon to take a nap. Like, I'm literally, my, my clock is off. Okay. I think that's because of the, you know, just the lifestyle I've been living yeah, for yeah. the last, you know, 25 years. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, man. I know a so lot of people that ain't gonna recognize you with the hair and shit. Man. Yeah, man, you know. <laughs> so I'm like, you gonna man. keep that? You gonna keep it or you gonna let hey, it go? Man. You know, I, I'm gonna keep it. I said, I'm, I'm not cutting my hair again to another live performance. I heard that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good goal. Um, yeah, and, and I know, may not cut it then, you know. You, ain't even, you know, I had always thought you might have had a, a George Jefferson or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, no, I got all masks, man. I'm good. Right. You got all your hair. It ain't even masks, that gray man. or nothing. You got a little, little touch of soft hey, pepper, look, but you ain't got... On, comedians online teasing me like, you was wearing a baldy by choice? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, Who does that? I'm like, me, man. Yeah. I just what? like fault, you know? <laughs> Well, get on. I, was, I had this going. <laughs> you know, my girl in here trying to tell me to be quiet on my show. We, I had set this up prior to her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. So, that's hey, I, man. You know. Yeah. So it is what it is, man. We all handling the quarantine the best way we can. Man, it's tough, ain't it, bro? This is some crazy shit. I ain't about to inject myself with no Lysol. I can tell you that. Oh my God, what was your president <laughs> doing, man? Yo, 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 state voted for him, didn't they? Oh my God, yeah, <laughs> my state along with a whole bunch of other. Shit, I don't know what that's about, bro. I don't know what. Hey man, listen, man. Michigan is Michigan is one of the most racist states in the union, man. That's yeah, not, you know, just because just because it's up north, that don't mean nothing. That's right, you know. Uh, you know. Yeah, we got, I, a, we, got, we got the Michigan militia up here, brother. Oh, really? Up, yeah, they walk around with the guns and the fatigues and all that, man. They the ones up there protesting, man. They doing all the kind of, you know, no, no, no face masks, no nothing. Just at the Capitol protest. They just Not like, hey, we go. Well, they won't be here for too long, so <laughs> that's all I say. So I say, let them protest. Let that coronavirus deal with them. Clean them yeah, out. Man. We'll be better off. That's probably why it's out here. It's cleansing the earth, man. Unfortunately, it's taking a lot of our elderly, but you know, it is. Com, you know, um, and and God, you know, God forbid it be somebody that touch home with us. You know what I mean? Man, I'm gonna tell you though, man, it is a blessing in disguise, though, man. Like you said, like you you, you alluded to it. I'm getting some rest. Yeah. You know, overall, you know, spending more time with the kids. Yeah. You know, doing a lot of family stuff. Time, right. you know. Right, you know, getting to know myself a little better, uh, you know, as, as an adult, you know what I mean, and the things I can and cannot handle, you know, yeah. mentally. Yeah, and uh, man, it, it, it's a blessing in disguise, you know That's, what I'm saying? It's some silver lining in there. Yeah, you know oh, it's man? silver lining and everything, man. That's awesome. absolutely, man. Absolutely, yeah. it's making people realize whether they want to stay with the person they with or not, too. Oh, for so, sure. That's definitely this, you get to learn who, who the person is. You know who they are, so yeah, you absolutely. can't lie to yourself no more on that one, man. Yeah, yeah come to no None of that. Yeah, nah, none of that stuff, man. So check it out. Um, a lot of cats that I know are starting to move their game a little bit more digitally. You know, for a little while it was a resistance to that on the, the true road comics or the cats who was out doing it before it became a, a internet a internet phenomenon, man. Mm -hmm. How's your digital game? What what you got uh moving into that round? Well, you know, um, I'm doing a thing now called the Coronavirus Comedy Tour. Okay. Uh, big shout out to my girl, Tori Hart, uh, for putting it together. And um, that's one of the things, as well as a, a number of other things. But yeah, the digital thing is where it's at because we can't do nothing else. Yeah. So, um, you know, so a lot of people are adapting to it, mm -hmm. um, which is a good thing, though. Yeah. You know, it's, it's allowing a lot of comics like myself and individuals to, to brand themselves more. Yeah, to that's be great. more aware of them. You know, we're not in the in the clubs doing live performances, so we right here on online. You know what I'm saying? We right here in cyberspace. Right, so it's that's a lot a easier. Good thing. Yeah, it, it, not that it's easier. It's just that it's what's available. Um, yeah. This is becoming hard for some people to adapt to. Some people don't know how to get on here and, and make it happen. So, yeah. and I wouldn't necessarily say easier. I would just say that this is what we have. 
yeah, it's, yeah, no doubt. It's the platform that we have, and we have to use the platform that we have. Right. Now, um, prior, uh, we're still kind of on prior to and going into current events, uh, when, I mean, current standards or standing in the comedy deal, right? So the, are you in LA right now or are you in Detroit right now? I'm in Detroit, man. I'm glad okay. I had to come, you know, be, had, be with my family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No doubt. Yeah. That's, I think yeah, and actually, I before everything good. broke broke out, I, <clears throat> I came back to the East Coast to kind of, you know, get on, get ready to do some road shows, some road yeah. games. Yeah. And um, then everything kind of broke out and then the lockdown came. So right. I was blessed and fortunate not to get caught, you know what I'm saying, in California or somewhere else abroad, you know what I'm saying, where I couldn't yeah. get back home, you That's know, awesome. to be with the family. Smart yeah. choice, man. Smart choice, yeah. too. I guess it all works the way it needs to be. Uh, <laughs> but what's the Detroit scene looking like, man? You know, uh, like, I know y'all had a few a few rooms, certain comics had a few rooms here and there that I would see pop up, but nope, it, it didn't look like anybody had anything solidly consistent. Um, yeah. Well, the Detroit, the Detroit scene is cool. Um, one thing I can say about it is, man, Detroiters are resilient, you know, and that goes for the comics as well. Yeah. So, you know, it may not be a lot of rooms like it was years ago, but they still got rooms, they still got spots. But once again, you got to understand the game is changing. Yeah, so everybody sure. not going to the clubs as much. You know what I'm saying? So people are doing more once a month shows and yeah. special <clears throat> events. And you, you know how it goes. Yeah, yeah. No so doubt. that's kind of how it is right now, you know? Okay, okay. So it's a circuit here, but it's not as, as fruitful as it was once was at, at, at one time. Okay. Well, that's yeah. cool, man. We, we're kind of the same way in Chicago as we lost all jokes uh, jokes and notes. We lost jokes Absolutely. and notes. And then after that, a few places tried to, you know, stay strong. Now, Damon Williams, the place that you was at uh, out there in Riddles, they trying to maintain that one. The problem with that one is it's stuck in such a blue collar, white community that it uh, it's harder. A for lot of brothers people. don't like driving the Riddles. No, no, because you know you. Oh, I get it. A lot of people don't like yeah. driving the riddles. You know, it's a, you know, it could be a headache. You know what I'm saying? When you yeah, go without out a doubt. But, but he was doing it though. He, he was he doing it. it. Yeah. And if you and if you keep it consistent, people will come, man. You just have to sure. find the people that are come. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, you're not gonna get everybody to come. You know, from Inglewood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. Nah. You just not. You know what I'm saying? Half the niggas ain't got no license, no way. You know what right. I'm saying? Right, and no you know? no public transportation going yeah, on. Yeah, ain't no public transportation. Right. None of that. Yeah, none of that. You know that. what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, so it's different, man. Like in Detroit, you know, a lot of people ain't going to the suburbs to go to the punchline in Southfield. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, yeah. they do. They keep it consistent. It's a great club. But a lot, a lot of dudes ain't even from the east side. You know what I'm saying? They drive to Southfield. They, okay. So is that considered your home club now? Uh or do you not, or do you yeah, not? Well, no, no, nah, nah, I don't have a home club. You know yeah, what I'm nah, saying? Yeah. Yeah, I just, you know, all the clubs are my club, brother. Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> doubt, no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. They love comedy, I love it. You know Hell what I'm yeah. saying? Small ones to the large. And they you know? need to check you out, man. So how the, how the Q's treating you, man? Y'all, uh, you, you guys got a good, strong gathering of comics that are Q's. Yeah. Uh, you know, so that should be a source of feeding, brothers, you know, because we, we feed off of Kappa, you know, quite often, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you know, man, we, we doing good, man. Um, Unfortunately, like everybody else, we're dealing with the virus, so we've lost a lot of brothers to corona Ooh. over the last few weeks. Yeah. Um, yeah. Here in Detroit, as well as other cities. Um, yeah. So that's part we're dealing with, man. But, you know, we're going to always, all the black Greeks, man, you know, we shout out to them. Black Greek fraternities yeah. and sorority, and because we, you know, we always do our due diligence, man, and we have, have always been, we have always been pillars of the neighborhood and, and of the community, and yeah. um, you know, we we had never stopped. Yeah, you know, we, you know, we we, we are who we are. Yeah, and no doubt. Never yeah. Know. No doubt. You know, so um, you know, I, I can't I can't say enough about the Black Greeks fraternities and sororities, as well as our HBCUs, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can't say nothing about it. We produce a lot of high quality individuals, man, that come That's up right. from out of these schools and out of these organizations. Yeah. So, um, can't say so, nothing about it. Yeah, so speaking of that, man, we, uh, I don't know if you had a chance, but we had a little bout with uh, uh, Ballhead ended up co uh, contracting the uh, virus. I heard about man. Ballhead. How's, he, how's Ballhead doing? He out the hospital. I haven't, yeah. you know, I, I haven't uh, had a conversation with him about it, but I seen him pop up 
you know, gave him my prayers and my, con you know, my, my situation with him. So, right. uh, now I was about to say my condolences, but he ain't died, you know. No, nah, <laughs> nah, he ain't going nowhere no time. Nothing like that. So, uh, nah. you know, I gave him my prayers, man, and I'm glad he got out of the hospital. He's a strong brother, but he, he did have some health things on top of it, which made him worry. Um, right. So if you, if you got brothers out there uh, in Detroit, anybody that we know that might have contracted that or dealing with it, man, that needs the prayers or whatever. You know what, man? And we all do, and we all need to stay more diligent on our health, man, as black people, man. Because yeah. one thing that we don't realize, man, is, you know, you can, you can think you as invincible as you want to, man. Yeah, but if you, this virus is attacking people with underlying health conditions, man. So I don't Absolutely. care how strong you think you are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you don't have your health together, man, you can die. And, and, and that's the sad part about this that people are not really paying attention to. Yeah. You know, this is not a game. That's true. That's true. It's not, it's not for play. It not a game. It's not for play, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, man. That's you what's know? up. We all got to do better, man, with the way we do things, the way we think about things, and the way we analyze our everyday actions now. We can't take nothing for granted. No, no you know, not even, no more. And one like, of, I'm, I'm, go, ahead. go ahead. Okay, one of the things that you did bring up, the silver lining is, is man, it's teaching people what's important. You know what I mean? And you got cats out here right now, They and they stuck in their house, they coronavirus uh, lockdown, they got a Lamborghini outside. They might be realizing, hey, that, that shit ain't that important right now. You know what right. I mean? Your family right. is more important, the people who care about you, the people who gonna check that's on right. you. That's what's, that's right. that's what's really important, man. So, that's right, man. That's yeah. right. That's what's important, man. The people that care about you, man, and the, you know, the people, things that are close to you in your life. A lot of people, man, with with money or thought they were well off, they may have a financial advantage in, in a lot of ways, but that don't necessarily make you happy. That don't mean that they're comfortable. You know what I'm saying? And they still can get the virus like anybody else. I don't give a damn how much money you got. Right, and this is teaching them that because they stuck in a six room <laughs> house by themselves. That's what I'm trying they, to tell you. Yeah, and they really seeing it right now, man. Yeah, you sad. You sad with money. Yep. Exactly. So they'll you know? they'll figure it out, man. So, all right, bro. I, again, I don't want to uh, steal too much it's of your time. Good, I know you're important in that thing. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. Right after we get out, I'm gonna go out on the porch. I got an hour before I smoke my cigar and start my bourbon. Food. There you go. <laughs> I got to do it go. after twelve. <laughs> I can't be an alcoholic like that. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. Yeah. Hey, look, hey man, ain't nothing wrong, man. Hey, look, we all gonna have to detox after this. Exactly. <laughs> In a crazy way, man. So la last last question, man. Are you uh con are you locked in with your fam or with your wife, fam, you know, and I don't even remember you saying you had kids or anything, but I know I do, you man. I got I got I got three kids, man. You know what I'm saying? You okay. know, my oldest my oldest is twenty five. He lives in Georgia. Okay. You awesome. Know? So I got yeah, and I have a, a thirteen year old mm -hmm. and an eight year old. Okay. Girls. Okay, yeah, man. So, <laughs> I gave you some daughters. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted, he wanted to get me back for all the shit I was doing. <laughs> right. I didn't want to go there, but you know, <laughs> that's what's yeah, up. Man. So, yeah, yeah, the kids, man, they doing good, man. Everybody good. My daughter's actually doing the online classes right now. So, we got oh, a lot of that awesome. going on, too. Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay. Well, tell everybody where they can see you and catch your next, you man. know, stay in contact. Coronavirus Comedy Tour. Make sure you look out for that. Coronavirus Comedy Tour. You can go to my Instagram, Howie Bizzell, H-O-W-I-E-B-I-Z-Z-E-L-L. -L. You get all your information. And just holler at your boy. You know what I'm talking about? Man, that's bro? awesome, bro. Can't Thank wait to you get back on stage, man. Yeah, man. Hey, man, we get, get you back up here to Chicago as soon as we can, man. Yes, sir. We love yeah. you, man, and we out, bro. Have a great hey, afternoon. Man. Holler at you in a minute, my brother. Hey, yes, hey, 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 I ain't mad at the Bulls, man. I still love y'all. <laughs> I knew you had to do something like that. <laughs> hey, One love, man. All right. <laughs>